we discovered a big correlation between social behavior and spending behavior. Whenever he makes a phone call, whenever he texts anyone, all the behavioral uh, patterns that he shows there, if you find a way to correlate that social behavior and try to see if that social behavior has an impact or an spending behavior that a person can afterward uh, show with their transaction habits, it's very powerful for these companies because it's getting information from a place that's more ubiquitous and it doesn't depend on if you are a transactor with that particular credit card. It just depends on your typical human behavior. If you talk with a certain amount of people, how your people you communicate with, how stable is your ego network or the, your friends, your family, your co-workers. And that tells a lot on the behaviors of the person. Nowadays, it has proven the social behavior is the best predictor in terms of the spending behavior. Other than you can build a model trying to predict if a person is gonna be loyal to a brand or not, on maybe some psycho characteristic and the explanatory power of the social variables trying to predict the spending habits are, are much bigger than trying to build models other features and i think that's uh, where the a lot of the value comes from what do they do with that so they use it for many different purposes one of the main purposes has to do with using for uh, selling to new customer or doing cross selling uh, with the existing customers they also use this information to retain customers or they also use some of this information to create a scoring on new prospects. The typical scenario is where they run campaigns with this data, they run acquisition campaigns, so they run a, a, a scoring for prospects in terms of risk analysis. They check what uh, works best if uh, using our information and what extra value adds for, for instance, in, in, in terms of acquisition, reduces the cost of acquisition of customers, or maybe if uh, they are attracting customers or new customers that afterwards the default rate, it's lower if they use our risk score in, in complement to what they typically use. 